Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Doctor? Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. I expect better of you, Lieutenant. You endangered the entire mission. Don't be so hard on him, Commander. We have no idea if that's what actually set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. I don't suppose it occurred to you that Eden Prime has medical facilities. Listen, you're better off in this infirmary than in any hospital on Eden Prime. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction, nothing's really clear. Hmm, I better add this to my report. It may... Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. I don't want her on my ship. I'm the captain of this ship, Commander, and I want Williams on our crew. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. 
Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Council can kiss my ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. They'll think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. When have they ever done anything for humanity? If we expose Saren as a traitor, the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. The Citadel is an ancient deep space station, presumably constructed by the Protheans. Since the Prothean extinction, numerous species have come to call the Citadel home. It serves as the political, cultural, and financial capital of the galactic community. To represent their interests, most species maintain embassies on the Presidium, the Citadel's inner ring. The Citadel Tower in the center of the Presidium holds the Citadel Council Chambers. Council affairs often have far-reaching effects on the rest of the galactic community. Five arms, known as the wards, extend from the Presidium. Their inner surfaces have been built into cities, populated by millions of inhabitants from across the galaxy. The Citadel is virtually indestructible. If attacked, the station can close its arms to form a solid, impregnable shell. For as long as the station has existed, an enigmatic race called the Keepers has maintained it. Combat Medigel is a common medicinal salve used by paramedics, EMTs, and military personnel. It combines several useful applications, a local anesthetic, disinfectant, and clotting agent all in one. Once applied, the gel is designed to grip tight to flesh until subjected to a frequency of ultrasound. It is sealable against liquids, most notably blood, 
as well as contaminants and gases. The gel is a genetically engineered bioplasm created by the CERTA Foundation, a medical technology megacorp based on Earth. Technically, Metagel violates council laws against genetic engineering, but to date, it has proved far too useful to ban. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. Doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. Dead Marines, dead colonists, and in the end, we still didn't get that beacon. Maybe you're right. Things went bad, real bad. I still can't believe we lost Jenkins. There's nothing we could have done to save him. No, I know that, but I don't have to like it. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not gonna be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. There's something big coming. I don't want anyone messing it up. You read me, Lieutenant? Five by five, ma'am. Is there anything else before we head ashore? Keep your concerns in check. You don't want to get a rep for questioning orders. Aye, aye, ma'am. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe to secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse, and the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth, or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. After what happened to Jenkins, the crew could use some good news. They'll be glad to hear you're okay. You're not assigned to this ship. Captain Anderson had me transferred to his command. Must have figured I knew what I was doing. You have a problem with me, Chief? You questioned my competence through the entire mission. Best way to stop that is to show me you're competent. But I don't remember inviting you to come back to the ship with us. You didn't. Captain Anderson did. I think we got off on the wrong foot, Williams. Maybe we could start again. I'm not one to hold a grudge. I think we're all looking to put Eden Prime behind us. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. Comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, 
and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't have shown up. Dead Marines, dead colonists. And in the end, we still didn't get that beacon. You saved a lot of lives, Commander. It might be hard to keep that in perspective with what happened to Jenkins. I'm not looking for a shoulder to cry on, Williams. Just stay focused on your job. Understood, ma'am. Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. The Mako Infantry Fighting Vehicle was designed for the System Alliance's frigates. Though the interior is cramped, an M35 is small enough to be carried in the cargo bay and easily deployed on virtually any world. With its turreted 155mm mass accelerator and coaxially mounted machine gun, the Mako can provide a fire team with weapon support as well as mobility. Since Alliance Marines may be required to fight on any world, the Mako is environmentally sealed and equipped with microthrusters for use on low-gravity planetoids. The Mako is powered by a sealed hydrogen-oxygen fuel cell and includes a small Element Zero core. While not large enough to nullify the vehicle's mass, the core can reduce it enough to be safely airdropped. When used in conjunction with thrusters, it also allows the Mako to extricate itself from difficult terrain. Biotics is the ability of rare individuals to manipulate dark energy and create mass effect fields through the use of electrical impulses from the brain. Intense training and surgically implanted amplifiers are necessary for a biotic to produce mass effect fields powerful enough for practical use. The relative strength of biotic abilities varies greatly among species and with each individual. There are three branches of biotics. Telekinesis uses mass-lowering fields to levitate or impel objects. Mass-raising kinetic fields are used to block or pin objects. Spatial distortion uses rapidly shifting mass fields to shred objects. Most organic species are capable of developing biotic abilities, though there are risks involved. Biotics are the result of an in utero exposure to element zero. This usually causes fatal cancers in the victim, but in rare cases, it coalesces into nodules within the fetus's developing nervous system. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of products. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. 
Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. What do the different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. How often will you get new items? Well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased. But I'll rotate items on a regular basis regardless. And any time we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell, and trade whatever I can. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently. licenses why do you need them manufacturers sell licenses each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of products I already have several basic ones but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands many of the best licenses are hard to get but they're well worth the cost if you can find them let's see what you've got you bet commander <laughs> Biotics, when subjected to an electrical current, the rare material dubbed element zero, or ESO, emits a dark energy field that raises or lowers the mass of all objects within it. This mass effect is used in countless ways, from generating artificial gravity to manufacturing high-strength construction materials. It is most prominently used to enable faster-than-light space travel, ESO is generated when solid matter, such as a planet, is affected by the energy of a star going supernova. The material is common in the asteroid debris that orbits neutron stars and pulsars. These are dangerous places to mine, requiring extensive use of robotics, telepresence, and shielding to survive the incredible radiation from the dead star. Only a few major corporations can afford the setup costs required to work these primary sources. Humanity discovered refined element zero at the Prothean Research Station on Mars, allowing them to create mass effect fields and develop FTL travel. Element zero can increase or decrease the mass of a volume of space time when subjected to an electrical current. With a positive current, mass is increased with a negative current, mass is decreased. The stronger the current, the greater the magnitude of the dark energy mass effect. In space, low mass fields allow FTL travel and inexpensive surface to orbit transit. High mass fields create artificial gravity and push space debris away from vessels. In manufacturing, low mass fields permit the creation of evenly blended alloys while high mass compaction creates dense, sturdy construction materials. The military makes extensive use of mobility enhancing technologies, with mass effect utilizing fighting vehicles standard frontline issue in most military forces. Mass effect fields are also essential in the creation of kinetic barriers or shields to protect against enemy fire. Omni-tools are handheld devices that combine a computer microframe, sensor analysis pack, and mini-factoring fabricator. Versatile and reliable, 
An Omni tool can be used to analyze and adjust the functionality of most standard equipment, including weapons and armor, from a distance. The fabrication module can rapidly assemble small three-dimensional objects from common reusable industrial plastics, ceramics, and light alloys. This allows for field repairs and modifications to most standard items, as well as the reuse of salvaged equipment. Omni tools are standard issue for soldiers and first-in colonists. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony! The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. 
They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians.